really funny. The doctors are going to help you. Can you need surgery? Haley May, 16, diagnosed paranoid schizophrenic. Tried to claw her eyes out. I need you to clear her before I can take her up the side. She tried to claw her eyes out. We try to keep her safe. She's on every med in the book. But she doesn't eat, she doesn't sleep. The slightest thing sets her off, talking even. So we're having her committed. We explained to her that they were coming to get her to try and help. We turned our back for a minute, just for one minute. Haley? That's what I was having there. I swear to God, I'll do it. No, baby, please don't. You don't believe. Nobody does. I need you to put that down. You'll kill me, right? If I stuff this in my arm, you'll kill me, right? You don't want to do that, do you? Because there's drugs in here, I would die, right? Trust me. I can help you. I'm not crazy. I know. I, I believe you. Everyone outside thinks you're crazy, but something's going on inside, and none of us understand. So we need to figure out what that is, and the only way we can do that is if you put that down and let me run some tests. Okay? You promise? Yes. Just put it down. It's gonna be okay. Shepard. I'd like to run some tests on Haley. Important tests? Look, we, we've been to doctors, okay? Haley is schizophrenic. She was diagnosed months ago. Ken's father was schizophrenic. He killed himself when Ken was eight. Look, Dr. Shepard, it's just a few more tests. She wants them. Mr. and Mrs. May, believe me, I understand your frustration, but it's possible something was missed. Honey, please. I'm fine. Okay. 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 Thank you. I'm going to run the EEG test. You think she's schizophrenic? I think she threatened to stab a syringe into her own heart, so I'm leaning her crazy. Yep. Yeah. Scans are off. There's nothing in the frontal lobe. Or the temporoparietal region. Occipital lobe's clean, too. Crap. Told you. Crazy. We try, Corrupt. All the tests are negative. Let's go. I'm a parent's interpreter of the psych. Look, this isn't right. I know crazy. Uh, I grew up with crazy, I dated crazy, and I don't think this girl is crazy. Just give me some time. Do you have a specific diagnosis in mind? No, but... She's suicidal, Alex. What you did in the ER, you saved her life. But those parents have been through hell. Look, you say it's our job to advocate for the patient. The patient, not the parents. So whatever hell they've gone through, hers is worse. I do say that. Advocate for the patient. You've got until my board meeting's over. Four hours. Go big. I don't understand. You didn't find anything. I just feel like we're torturing her for no reason. Okay, Haley, we're gonna start now. And when I say now, I want you to pinch your nose and blow. Make sure you keep your eyes open, okay? Now. What's happening to her eyes? What's going on? just diagnosed her. It's called superior canal de Hissen syndrome. It's a result of a small hole that developed in her inner ear. It's rare, and it's hard to diagnose. The condition wasn't even written up until 1998. The noise, sensitivity, the sandpaper, it's because Haley could hear everything going on inside her body, and every sound outside was magnified. That's why she couldn't sleep or eat. She's not schizophrenic. <laughs> Okay, 
take time to close off the canal. You're using fascia and bone wax? Yep, and then we'll cover it with the portable bone wrap and harvest to seal it with the fine bone. Should be as good as new. We cover a hole with a bone graft, and this girl gets her whole life back. Wouldn't it be nice if everything in life were that simple? She's starting to wake up. And then we're going to take it slowly and see how it goes. There's no guarantee that the surgery worked. What are you doing, Haley? people what they want out of life and the answer is simple to be happy <laughs>